Hey, Miles here at Tactical Hive. Want to discuss something that's very basic. This is going to come in handy for new shooters and beginners, and that's how to load a magazine. For those of you who have been shooting for a while, bear with us. This is obviously a video for those who are new to shooting, but it is a common question. We notice that a lot of people don't really know how to put bullets in their magazines. And to be specific, this video is about semi-automatic pistols. We're not going to be talking about revolvers and how to load your revolver. We're talking about these magazines. And just a little tidbit here. For new shooters, you may have heard the term clip or clips and magazines. They're often used synonymously, but they're not actually the same. So a magazine is what you see right here, okay? Or let's say a Glock mag, just like this. Clips are typically a device that holds the bullets together and they're not the magazine. The clips hold bullets together and you can insert those clips in magazines. Not all the time, but just gives you, uh, just for a point of reference there, they are different, okay? These are the magazines that where you're going to load bullets into, all right? That being said, it's relatively simple. There's no one way to do it, but there are two major ways I'm gonna talk about if you don't have any type of device to help you with that. So I have a, a magazine right here, it's partially filled, okay? And it's very simple, you're just gonna grab a few bullets and the more you do this, the easier it is going to be, all right? In the beginning, it might be difficult, but over time, it's, it's simple. You're gonna do this um, as easy as like tying your shoelace. You're not gonna even pay attention to it. So one method is this. You're gonna grab your magazine, typically in your support hand, and your support hand thumb is going to push down on the bullet, okay? If there is no bullet, then you would insert the first bullet inside. And we'll show that to you in a second here, all right? But let's, uh, actually, let's uh, start from the beginning there. Might as well. So we have an empty mag here. You can see this is called the follower of your magazine, all right? So you don't have to push anything down right at this point. You would just get your support hand, typically, and use your strong hand and just insert it in. So what I'm doing here is this, the back end of the bullet here where the primer is, this is what is going to be facing the magazine here, all right? And then just gonna press down on the follower and insert. So you push down and insert it push it back so that it reaches the end of the magazine, can't go any further. So I got one bullet inside. Now, I'm going to use my support hand thumb, this is one method, support hand thumb to press down, okay, just like this. And then I'm going to continue pressing down the bullet with my strong hand. The bullet goes down, now I slide it through. Right? Super basic, but it is something that uh, for new shooters, you're not really, it's not gonna come natural. So once again, I would press down on the thumb, just like this, okay? And then from here, insert the bullet, all right? And you would keep on doing this until your magazine is full or until you have as many bullets as you want in your magazine. One thing to note about this process is that if you have new mags or in general, magazines are going to be easy to load at the beginning, all right? So I didn't have any bullets in this, so the bullets were just going easily in there. As we get closer to the bottom, because there's spring tension, the magazines here have a spring inside. And the more I load, so this is a 20 round mag. If I get to the very bottom, it begins really to be, it's gonna to be tough because there's that spring tension. So I might have to press down hard with my thumb and then really hard with my support hand to really drive that bullet in. So just keep that in mind. If you find that there's, it's harder as you get more bullets in there, that's natural because again, that spring tension is building. Another thing about these magazines is that you'll notice that some magazines, not all, will have indicator marks to let you know how many bullets are inside. So here I have indicators for 20 rounds as well as 10 rounds and this particular magazine. On Glock mags, it'll be different depending on the capacity, but in the back, you'll see holes here and it'll tell you how many rounds there are in that magazine. And it's not the same for every mag, but you should check your magazines. It might have some kind of indicator there. So that's one method where you use your support hand or one hand, the thumb, push down, and then use your other hand to insert the bullet, okay? Now let's discuss another method. So another method is kind of the opposite, okay? So the first method, I use my support hand thumb, the, the thumb that is holding the magazine to push down on the bullet then, so basically I put one bullet inside, okay? Everything's the same when we start, okay? As the first method, but the first one I use my thumb on the bullet first and then I drove the bullet down further with my other hand. This other method is where I'm actually going to, there's no right or wrong method, okay? Just use whichever method is easiest for you. So here, this other method that I've seen done before is you're using your, the hand that's not holding the magazine to put over the bullet, 
the bullet's already in the mag, and you're gonna use your, uh, the, hand, the thumb that's holding the mag to drive it down and in. Okay, so it drives it down and in. So I'll do this one again one more time. I'm gonna exaggerate. I put the bullet on top. I use my thumb on the mag to push it down and pull it in. So it's a different method here. Some people like this, some people like the other method. I prefer the other method, I just find it faster, but it's, again, it is personal preference. So this method, again, the second one, is I actually lay the bullet on top, use my thumb to push it down, and then guide it in. I pull it in. Okay, so those are two methods to load your magazine with bullets if you don't have any device. One thing you're gonna learn, the more you shoot, and if you shoot a lot, is jamming your mags, which is another term used in the, in the shooting world for uh, loading your magazines with bullets. It gets tiring and you could, you know, it, just, it could hurt after a while, it's particularly if you have really sharp edges on your magazines. So if, imagine doing this for 500 rounds, your fingers can get raw. Okay, and because you're handling lead and dirt and all this stuff like this, you know, like my hands are dirty right now, I've been shooting for a while, and so some people don't like that. So there's many different devices out there. This is a Maglula speed, uh, speed loader, which we'll leave a link to um, below. There's lots of different speed loaders out there. This is not the only one, but you can look into something like this where if you have, you know, arthritis, um, you know, it just, it just hurts for you to load magazines, then you could use a device like this. This is very simple, you would just, use the loader. I'm not going to go over, this is not you know, a guide on how to use these speed loaders because there's a lot, but it can be as simple as pushing down the bullet, inserting another one, and then just repeating this process. And you can do this over and over and over again. Right? Very simple, very easy. So as I mentioned, lots of different devices like this. Whether you use one or not, it's up to you. Truth be told, I am faster without a device like this is just because I've been doing this a lot, but after a while my fingers will get raw so then I'll move to this. But use whatever you want to. Some common questions that beginners have is, how do they know where you, know, where you should start loading? Where, which direction should you point your magazine when you're loading, right? So I held it like this. What if a beginner doesn't know they might hold it backwards here? And there are two ways. One is your magazines, the lips here of their magazine, they usually are going to be angled upwards, okay? So this is angled upwards like this. I'm exaggerating right here. And you want to load the bullets at the highest angle here. Okay, so you could, you could look at it that way, right? Another way is look at your magazine and you'll see one side is more open than the other here. And that is where you're going to be inserting the bullets, the back of the bullet where the primer is first. Okay, so you're either looking at that high angle, okay, that high angle and you're putting the bullet in this way, or just look at, you know, where's the, where's the bigger opening, right? Okay? And that's where you're gonna insert the bullet. Another common question among beginners is how many bullets should you load in your magazine? And Honestly, it depends on what you're doing, meaning if you're in a class and the instructor says low 10, then you want to low 10, but in general, your magazine is going to be rated to hold a particular number of rounds. So these rounds, as you recall earlier, hold 20. So as I'm jamming the mags, I generally want to keep track of how many rounds I'm putting in here. And I say generally because you're going to get to the point where you can load mags easily, just like you're tying a shoelace, and you'll know when you've reached kind of that capacity, like 20 round mag. But if you're a beginner, as I told you, as you get closer and closer to the very bottom here, it might be really stiff and difficult to manually load these uh, the bullets into the magazine. So you might be thinking, okay, I'm probably already at the max capacity. If you haven't been counting, you might think that, but it could be, maybe you're out of a 20 round mag, maybe you're at round 15 and you're just hitting that spring tension where it's getting tougher and you still have five more bullets to go. So as I talked about, as you're beginning, you know, you're jamming these mags, you might want to count, you know, so there's nothing in here. I'm going to be loading one in my mind, you know, two, so that as it starts getting tough here, you'll know, okay, maybe I'm 18. Oh, there's room for two more. So you wanna jam your mags in general as far as possible, as, as many bullets as your mag will hold or accommodate, and uh, based on what you're doing. If you have a, a fixed round count drill or exercise or in a class and your instructor says, don't load more than this many rounds, then you just wanna to listen to them. So there you have it, a basic how to load your magazine with bullets. That's gonna help beginners and new shooters. There's no right or wrong way, just look for comfort. And if you are uncomfortable with loading manually and you can always use a speed loader of some kind, there's lots of them out there. Again, this is a Meglula speed loader. We'll leave a link in the description below. Hope you guys liked the video. See you next time.